In terms of some key insights that we can see, uh, since 2014, noting that this is until uh, the year ending 2018, the system has enabled insights into more than 154,000 awards worth 105 billion euro, with almost 68,000 beneficiaries um, who've, re- who've received access to funds in 212 countries that have been supported by both the EDF and EU budget. The EDF budget has a direct impact on development, so focusing on this can give us an understanding of spending on development. What it shows us when we look at this part of the budget is that 2017 was the largest year for commitments as part of the current framework. A total of €2 billion was committed through 890 projects, There were 554 beneficiaries from 89 countries and regions which shed in the funds. When we delve deeper through the interactive, we can see that 63% of this 2 billion euro was directed to budget support. Burkina Faso received 341 million in budget support through four projects followed by Tanzania. And West African nations were the largest recipient receiving 60% of the total budget support commitments in 2017. These trends identified in 2017 were replicated in 2018, which had a focus on budget support for West African nations again. But really, EDF is only part of the story. Um, Looking at the complete data doesn't tell us how the EU itself is spending on development, but we can focus on three areas, three departments, DG DEVCO, which is the Directorate General for International Cooperation and Development, DG NEAR, which is the Directorate General for Neighbourhood and Enlargement Negotiations, and DG ECHO, which is the Directorate General for European Civil Protection and Humanitarian Aid Operations, which is why they abbreviate it. Um, We can see how the Commission spend on development beyond just the EDF budget. So that is really part of the story. And these particular departments all have a development focus. DD DEVCO in particular is an important one to study within the data because this is, they're so, um, solely responsible for the, for the management of the European Development Fund. But between 2014 and 2018, the EDF accounted for just 42% of the funds awarded by DEVCO, making the wider EU budget an important source of their funds and as part of delivering on their objectives. DG DEVCO delivered 15% of the total EU budget detailed in the system between 2014 and 2018. Again, noting that is not the entire EU budget, but just what is in the financial transparency system. The focus of DG DEVCO in delivering the funds um, is budget support, which accounts for 45% of funds awarded between 2014 and 2018, which is followed by grants at 14% and public procurement at at 14%. The wider role of DG DEVCO still has a development focus, but what is interesting is when we look at the two different budgets, the EDF and the broader EU budget, and how they're directed to beneficiaries through this department. Focusing purely on awards that are delivered through the EDF between 2014 and 2018, there is that focus on on Africa that I had mentioned earlier. So Burkina Faso tops the countries for beneficiaries receiving 449 million euro, and this includes 135 million euro awarded to support good governance and development. Niger is followed in second place with 424 million euro, with Rwanda and Tanzania also in the top 10 beneficiary countries. Haiti also appears receiving 272 million euro, including 100 million euro awarded in 2014 for state building. So there is a focus on getting money to low and middle income um, countries. But the European countries also appear in the top 10 as managers of projects away from recipient nations. So just noting within this, this is about who the money was actually directed to to manage the project. So this is why we get European recipients in this. 
France is the largest non-developing country beneficiary, receiving 385 million euro through EDF between 2014 and 2018. And this includes 25 million euro awarded to Interpol to support the work of the West African Police Information System.